Abortion law seems wild to me. Like, I'm sorry, but I gotta say this. This is a little controversial. Um, <clears throat> it's a controversial topic. Um, I just, I just feel like. How do I want to put this together? Do you want to save me on this before I go into? I don't know what you're gonna say. Oh, okay, I'll okay. Be you on your own I, on this one. Okay, I just think that like. We, we live in a country where there's things and services that are provided for people, right? Mm -hmm. Regardless if you want to use it or not, I think the right thing to do is not to take away those services okay. for other people who might be, need, be in need of that. For example, this whole abortion also always come with the, the talk of, you know, defund... The uh, Planned, Planned Parenthood. Par Planned Parenthood. But, like, you got to understand, like, there's a lot of people who de are dependent on P Planned Parenthood mm -hmm. for medications, birth control, tests. Not, but people but people don't understand is Planned Parenthood isn't just for uh, preventing Abortion. abortions. Right. It's, it's, it's STD education. It's so you can get checked to make sure you don't have STD so you're not just going around here blindly. Infecting people. It's not just for pregnancy prevention. It's for sexual education and disease prevention in general. And that's what people don't understand. They just see the abortion because they think that right. it's a little fetus that you can't right. kill. They just kind of think the 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 worst of it. But also, even if a person chose to go that route, it's not your body to dictate what they should do or they shouldn't. To me, as a man, I feel a little uncomfortable for men to talk about abortion. Because I never I, like talking about it because it don't matter to me. Yeah, because it's not my choice. It's like up to the, yeah, the like, woman choice. And and so like when I see men who are talking about it, and I know sometimes like, I be thinking them niggas is gay. Sorry. Yeah. If so, you you be niggas men that be worried so much about women's rights, and I'm not talking about in the sense of like helping progress. I'm talking about in the sense of oppressing it and like trying to push it backwards, like how Texas is with this abortion law. Y'all got to be gay because like why do y'all care so much, bro? Why does it affect you? Right. And and why do you feel like, why does men feel like they need to dictate whether a female should keep it or not keep it or what to, whatever to do? Because men like to be in control. Whatever to do with it. I'm like, I when it comes to this conversation, I'm like, why are men, ha why are men even in the discussion? Like, I get it if there's a woman to disagree and then another woman, like, they disagree, whatever. Nah, I not even know. Yeah. As a woman, mind your own fucking business and worry about your body. And if this chick want to get an abortion, let her worry about her own body. Because at the end of the day, you're not taking care of other people's kid. You know, like, why are you taking that away from them and then telling them, like, oh, too bad. Like, mm -hmm. you got to take care. Like, bro, like, I and, and I hate to say this, but when it comes down to this topic religion is a big factor right because it comes into play because a lot of people who are pro-life are pretty religious yeah, and, fuck them and they and it's, <laughs> fuck them yeah fuck them I, I don't really want to say oh, no no fuck them no nah, fuck no they're not even you want no fuck them bro like why why do y'all it doesn't yeah. matter like it shouldn't matter like but so so here here here's my thing we have okay how do i say this there's freedom of religion in this country right mm -hmm. so everybody has the right to be a religious uh, in any form or join any religions that they want, right? So why is that these certain group of people and their religious belief are willing to impose laws on the rest of the population because they feel like their God believe this is what is right to them? Like, I'm like, if you impose this, isn't that kind of like... Uh, a dent in the freedom, uh, in the uh, the freedom to um, freedom of religion, in a way. Because what if there's a, a uh, I'm just trying to phrase this right. What if like you're religious, but your religion doesn't care about abortion, and your religion is just fine with abortion, whatever case it might be. Mm -hmm. And by this law imposing that on you, shouldn't that like also affect your freedom of religion? Is it, are you, yeah, what I get what you're trying to. I get what you're trying to say. I mean, you kind of worded it bad, but I get what you're I trying to say. Like, bad. I'm sorry. It, it came out. It came out wrong. Wrong because I, what I'm trying to say is like we you're have basically saying like if your religion, say you're in a religion and let's say you're an atheist, that's a religion, but but you don't but you don't believe in God and you don't believe that's in the still Bible. A religion. 
Yeah, it's still, religion. but it's still a religion, right? And you don't believe in any of that, and so abortion doesn't come into doesn't play. affect you, right? But now you have to suddenly, and and you live in Texas. Now you have to be abide by this law that says after the six week mark, it's illegal, bro. Most people don't even know. Six you don't know you mark? pregnant until you six weeks. You're my girl's girl, late for like eight weeks. My girl didn't find out she was pregnant until. So so she was six weeks. So I mean, if we lived in Texas, we would have been getting a wire hang. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, but then there's not. Oh yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm joking. I, it's just <laughs> it's just like how why are we going backwards based on man, a, I don't a, know, a, man. A, a people a, are stupid. A group of popul uh, a, a population who believe such and such because of the religious merit, and also they don't want people to have sex. And it's like, yo, why don't you want people to like if people want to have sex? Let them fucking have sex and like let them deal with their consequences on their own. Like, why are you dictating another mm-hmm. person's life and their choice? It makes My no thing sense. Is- but then, but wait, wait, wait. But it's very fucking hypocritical because the same people hypocritical are hypocritical because the same people who are saying this are right now saying my body, my choice. When it comes to when the it vaccine, comes to the vaccine. Mm-hmm. but bitch. You're not allowing other people to say my body, my choice. When it comes it to makes abortion. no sense. Hey, man, I don't like the like, thing. What are we doing? Bro, the thing I don't get is to me, to me is stupid. And, and this, this would be me like taking it to the, to the extreme. Like if you really think about it, if you really think about it, let's say that, okay, this law passed in Texas. Let's say that every other uh, state in the country decides to follow Texas with this same abortion law. They currently, wait, wait, before you start. Currently, there's about 25% of the states in the country that are thinking about imposing the same law as Texas. No, and and, and guess what's going to happen? Guess what? We're going to be the United States of fucking China because there's going to be a number of babies in fucking trash cans everywhere you go when people can't have abortions. That, that's, that's, right. and, and I don't want to sound fucked up to like Chinese people, but like, come on, even in America, we see like, we see people all the t- we see hear the news all the time in America and even other countries where people can't afford to have kids. Right. And they they might be in a state or a country where abortion and adoption is hard because of the laws. Right. So guess what happens? The baby ends up fucking sitting in a dumpster somewhere or right. gets dropped off at a fire department and they become an orphan anyways. Right. We're trying to the whole point. We're trying to stop orphans from being we're trying to cut back on the orphans and foster care. Right. We're trying to make it where kids are born into homes so why are you if you force someone to get to if you take that option to get an abortion away especially when the baby's six weeks like what do you expect right that kid's gonna even if they say fuck it okay well since we can't get it we're gonna keep them that kid's gonna be born into a home where the parents might have a sense of animosity because they weren't ready to have them right they weren't ready to raise them and they have to make millions of sacrifices rape victims is huge oh no i was about to get into that yeah Right. Fam, you you if you a chick gets raped and she's pregnant from the dude that raped her and she can't get an abortion, you think I, I I can't speak for women. But if I was a woman and I was in that situation, I got sexually assaulted, I I become pregnant and I'm in a state and they tell me I can't abort the baby. And you have no I don't idea know what, what you want me to do. You have no idea where the guy is at. Oh, fuck him. He raped yeah. me. I don't give a fuck about him. Yeah. He died for all I care. That, but I'm not taking care of that baby. It's going to be put up for adoption. It's going to be put in the system. It's going to be another foster kid. It's not mine. I don't care right. how long I held it in my stomach. That baby's going to remind me of the dude that sexually assaulted me. So that baby's going to be another system it's baby. A, it's a, it's Sorry. literally like a lifetime Sorry. trauma that you're carrying. Not going to deal with it. Not going to deal with that trauma knowing that every time I look at this child, I got to remember the dude who assaulted me and I can't. Right. Yeah, and, so, and, sorry. And and for the and Sorry, the, and, sounds fucked up, but and, I mean, come and, on now. And for the pro life people who who wanna uses the argument of like, well, you shouldn't have sex, bro. That that argument is That's so just, outdated. That pro life argument is equivalent to the people that say that black people should have just complied when they were being pulled over by police, that women shouldn't be wearing revealing clothes or should have kept their legs closed. It's the same Stupid ass, it's victim shaming and it's not. It's like, bro, like sex is a part of life. It's a normal thing. Not everybody's gonna have to wait till marriage. Bro, a lot of people have different religions that don't shit a majority don't uh, don't require marriage in order for you to have sex. You can't you can't possibly put that on another person. If we're keeping it a hundred, a majority of Christians are oh. fucking before marriage. I mean, I, I would consider myself Christian. I have a kid, so I mean, yeah, you I'm not are married. Fucking so, like, marriage. a lot of us are already sinning. So, how, who are we to be hypocrites Man. and be mad at someone for getting an abortion when we're already sinning anyways? If you want to be technical, 
We we sin every day. We we Eric, so so I, why? Yeah, yeah, like even the people who are pro life, you are s- committing they're doing major something. sins. So why are you fucking just sitting here taking everything away from another person, like another person who disagree with your take, like and also with Planned Parenthood, like if you take away that, then now like most people will probably lose access to birth control. If they don't have birth access to birth control, then they're gonna get pregnant and then they can't get it. It's just. And then also, it's gonna be a and, slope. and also, it's fucking expensive in America. Okay, and then okay, and see, Our homeless population is gonna go through the fucking roof. And that's and that's why I was telling you how this law really affects minorities more than it does white people because white people, I was I was just being shallow. I was saying white people can just pay doctors off or pay people off to not say anything and get to abortion, and not just white people. The the, the I'll say the 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 higher the upper class, which is predominantly white, they have. They will still have the options to probably do stuff and well, get the, the, get the necessary the, funds in order to take care of a yes. child. Yes. Not even that. Even if they want to have the abortion, they like they can say, fuck it, I'm going to leave the state. I got the money to leave the state and go two states over where abortion is legal and go get an abortion. Right. People who come from lower middle class can't, can't do that. They don't have that option. So now they're stuck here. Right. They want to get an abortion. They can't just drive to fucking... Uh, Arizona, or I'm not, I don't even know. I think Arizona's probably pro life too, but whatever. You can't just drive to like the next state over yeah. and go get an abortion like someone with the funds would be able to. So that's why right. a lot of people are saying that this law affects and, and the, I, the lower class and minorities and, because they know that. Right. And then also when you're talking about abortion, I think these people are bringing like the worst case scenario when it comes to abortions. They are killing babies that are like eight months. Dude, yeah, people, fuck people, them people kids. People, are, people aren't getting. <laughs> wait, wait. People aren't. Look, people who aren't getting. People are not getting abortion with a big gigantic belly. Like that's that's th- those yeah. are the rare cases. And you don't really the only time you really see that nowadays, it's, I would assume that it's like a medical uh, yeah, a medical yeah. emergency. Usually if someone don't want the baby, they're gonna know before like they're even showing when the baby is still like right. before six weeks. And then now you come into play as at the, 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 the big debate here and everybody wanna be a fucking the scientist. It's the heartbeat. Oh my god, man! Fuck that heartbeat. And, 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 and so there's the there's the reason. It's like you know, um, there was somebody who's like they're saying it should count as a heartbeat, and then there was like also something about tax. I don't know, man. Like you should start getting child like, um, uh, like pregnant. There was an argument. Something I saw something very. Pregnant strong. women should start getting like child support, support or something. Right. At, and the baby should hey, have shit. come out. If and, you they're came, like, and they're like, no, 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 it hasn't came out. But, then then but let me, you said the heart then, went in. And let me abort it. It's, right. it's, uh, it's either it's... So, yeah, there was yeah a, you got to pick a, one. Somebody, somebody posted that. I was good, like, that's, that's a, a very good, fucking good argument. That's a good argument because women can't... A lot of women... Like, uh, most women, they can work till they're five, six months, and then they got to... Seven months, then they got to go on maternity leave. Some women, once they hit three, four months, they can't work no more. Right. And... And but, but they're not getting compensated for they're those. They're not getting compensated. And right. I'm not saying that these women want to abort the child, but they still, the, the, I'm just speaking just on women getting pregnant in general. They, yeah. they, they have women, they can't work because they're on maternity leave because yeah. they, they can't put they, too much strain on the baby. Right. They're so, not getting paid. So, so it's like, yes. So if they want to use that six-week mark, right? Then start then, paying mothers. Then start mothers. paying that six-week mark. Yes. Start, start, start paying at the six-week, yes. They can leave work. And they can That's do six all week that mark. six week mark. And I bet you they're not going to do that. They don't want to do that because they're going to lose money. The government will lose money. Right. And the people who for it who are pro life will lose they're money. They're going to be like, yo, you better fucking work until then. Bro, nah, that's not bro. how it works. Okay. It's just, it's, there's so much hypocritical like statement that comes from that, that side. It's just wild to me. And it's just like, yo, like, why are we going backwards? Like, Texas is cheap, California is expensive. I can barely take care of a fucking dog, you know, like. At least I can get an abortion out here. Yeah, but like, but also like, you don't just, people don't, people who use abortion, like gets abortion, don't just be fucking getting like 10, 20 abortion a year. That don't I don't know if that's how. Happen. Like, it only comes down to like, uh, like desperate, like not desperate. It only comes down after you made like really hard life decisions and all that and like you talk amongst your partners last resort like it's last resort it's yeah. usually last resort right. you don't you don't like you don't see women like i'll use porn stars for example you don't see porn stars who are in the porn business 
just going and that's a horrible stereotype that people think especially like porn stars who like have unprotected sex they just no. assume that these women are just right. out here no, they are, popping they're professional at yeah, they, they but they just assume that they're out here popping plan b after plan b or, right. or getting abortion after abortion when in reality these women are using birth control right the men are probably on birth control right. too right or they're just probably uh they're just probably tied the men you know, you can tie your shit. They're getting a, or they got a vasectomy. You don't, yeah. but some, but they're taking the steps. So, like, yes, that's a stereotype. Abortions don't just happen wildly, and people who get them don't just get them. Like, okay, next week I just got pregnant again. Time yeah, to get let another me go, one. Let me go. Let me go. Just because, kidding. like, the, no. You, you know what men don't understand, and I've, I've learned this, like, from women I talk to. Not like I've talked to in the past, just like friends and stuff telling me like about how the women body work. Like women, as a woman, you you don't want to. People assume like you don't, fuck with, you don't want nothing to fuck with your cycle, right? That, but like when it comes to abortions, people assume that women just get them like they popping popping skittles or something. Yeah, like as a woman, you don't want to you don't want to just be cons like that's an abortion, a plan B. Those are usually even like no, no. Even those are usually like one two bro, time things because like if you do it in your life, yeah, you don't like, want to keep doing that because if you're constantly getting something stuck down there to get an abortion or you're constantly taking the plan B pill and whatever chemical in there, your cycle that's, is fucked. Not only could it mess up the women's cycle, but from what system. people told me, it could eventually it could make you infertile, yeah. and you won't be able to have kids. So women aren't just out here popping Plan B. Right. Like I mean, it's probably some women that are stupid enough. There's billions of people in the world, so let me not count everybody out. But the majority of women aren't just out here popping Plan Bs and getting abortions because that's gonna affect their body too in the long run, long right. term. Right. So I don't get why people just assume that this is just a thing that women just do because it's convenient. Women do women get abortions when it's inconvenient. Yeah. Like it doesn't benefit the only way it benefits them is if it's financially or because they were sexually assaulted and stuff like that. Women aren't just out here, oh, I don't want the baby. Women right. love kids. Why would women just Right. And 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 you don't understand what a person's going through. What if she's just a single mother that's currently going uh, that's just working minimum wage, can't even keep have a place, live with the parents still. The parents not like the parents don't support. Yeah, all it, there should and but don't fucking say you shouldn't have be you shouldn't have ha, have fucking sex because that's a horrible okay, fucking but, argument. But here's where the pushback. That's a horrible argument. Okay, but here's a good argument. So let me play devil's advocate. So you can say all that, and then someone who's pro life is gonna be like, well, why don't they just adopt the baby? And then that's where you go into the stats. Every not, most kids that get put into the foster system or whatever to put up for adoption don't get adopted they end up in the foster care system they end up right. being a fucking in the system most of these kids end up when they grow up committing crimes or joining gangs yeah. or whatever it may be so it's not really it's they, lose lose to they, be honest they, for the kids yeah they grow up with not a regular uh, household with uh, parents they are going through so much things at an early age they can't have regular school that are teaching them things like you're you're now like and and what are you gonna do? Are you gonna fucking start adopting every kid? Because if if you're for it, like you you gonna be out there taking care of people. You gonna be handing out checks. You gonna be fucking giving people money. You gonna be taking care of other people. It makes no fucking sense to me. And then also along with the law that they pass, it's like a ten thousand dollar bounty where people can start snitching on people who hey, are, I ain't they gonna think. Lie. If I lived in Texas, I'd probably snitch on a couple more. <laughs> I ain't shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> horrible, man. You were horrible. You were horrible, man. 10,000. 10,000. You told me 10 racks and all I had to do was snitch? Yeah, that's call 911 right now. <laughs> like, I don't please. think 911 is a call. I know. Yeah. That's probably some stupid number. No, I'm probably going to do that. Like, okay, if I'm being I honest. Do, I wouldn't do that. I'll be like, whatever. what do you need help with? I, if I'm being honest, like. I, just a conversation. I think that's all I can offer. But I am willing to understand here. <laughs> I feel like as a man, I used to be against abortions. Don't know why. Don't think I had an actual reason. I I would. I still know. I don't think I would say personally that I'm for abortions. But I would say personally, I don't think I'm for abortions. I wouldn't say I'm pro life. I would say I'm pro choice because yeah. I mean, I might not be for it, but at the same time. Ain't my fuck like if it's if it was me and my girl and we were going through something like this, then there's something we would have to talk to internally. We we'll right. come like to you whether had we had a baby, you know, you can yeah, and we and we talked about it. And I was, I mean, I would have if we were to chose that route, it probably would have been more of my choice than her choice because she's not really 
not that she's pro life, but she said I'm not gonna get an abortion. I was like, okay, yeah. let's let's do this thing. I got it. We got this. So, yeah. but I feel like when it comes like if it's your situation as a man, I still think it's the woman's choice. Yeah, it's always the woman's choice. But I feel like you should be so you should be supportive regardless of what she chooses, whether because because exactly, yeah. see, there's a lot of men because it goes both ways. There's a lot of men who are for abortion abortion because it'll benefit them. They they don't have to worry about being a deadbeat or whatever it may right, be. Right. They can just get once they check, get the abortion, they can be like, oh, I dodged that bullet, got the fuck up out of there. Right. And then in other cases, there's men that don't want women to have abortions. Because they want to keep they want to have a baby. But then if the woman doesn't want. Yeah, the woman but doesn't want to, then it's, you know, it's really up. to Yeah, them. but it's, my, my thing is, I think I think we're on the same boat. Like I like abortion is like last resort. Yeah. Like like I don't even want to think about abortion. Like I rather, you know. Be in a place where, if, yeah. if it comes down, I'm financially stable and let's do this. Like we're in we the right it. situation. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take it. Like I love, I love, I would love to have a kid of my own. Like I, I, I don't think pro choice, pro choice people are uh, like most of them really want abortion either. But it's just to have the option. It's the thing. Yeah, it's no like, one wants to kill a fucking kid, but like, it's not one. Is it really a kid? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we got you. Like, look, really that's up for the that that's up for debate. And who are you to tell what another person think? Either like you know, like people yeah. think different. When it, that that's a touchy debate, and it can go either way depending on how you view things. But my thing is with that debate, like it's a um, slippery slope. I don't even think it's a slippery slope. Like this person is like whether we say that it's a kid at six weeks or not, or it's alive at six weeks. This chick, this woman has to carry this baby for nine months. So yeah. they should have the uh, the right to whether I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to make it seem that. like we're giving the women the ch- the 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 choice to play God or whatever. But they should have that that choice of if they want to keep that baby, especially if they don't think right they're ready for the baby. Then why then why sit here and have the baby? Because we we see situations all the time when women. Are are ready for a baby, and they're like, and you you don't think there's women out here that uh, people act like there's not women out here that aren't ready for babies, get pregnant, can't get an abortion, and like fuck it, I'm about to just drink and do all these drugs and hope that I have a miscarriage. Right. You might as well just let that person have the abortion because even if that baby somehow, if this chick is out here drinking hardcore and doing all types of drugs and shit, hoping that the baby doesn't make it, and then that baby still ends up being born. Yeah. Well, the baby's gonna have some type of birth defects or something. It's gonna be something, most right. likely. Whether they have a heart problem, they come out addicted to drugs, whatever it may be, it's gonna be something. Right. So you, the baby's right. already gonna be at a disadvantage, and that's like a rare case. Let me not make that seem like all women who don't want to have kids do that, but right. there's cases of that. I think that I think the frustrating thing is nobody's really advocating for an abortion. There, like I think. A lot of people who are a little bit more progressive, and I know, like, I'm not, like, super progressive. I'm not super left. I'm, like, kind of in the middle. But, like, when it comes to the, like, when it comes to things like this, it's just, like, it's just the option. Like, nobody's advocating for abortion. I think, like, whoever people, whoever thinks that, you're fucking crazy. I just. You're fucking stupid and crazy, and you are, uh, you're not even, you're, you're in your own little world. Nobody. It's just. Don't take, the, don't take those kind of services and options away from people. Here's my thing. And I know abortion is more than just women who get uh, sexually assaulted and want and don't want to have to raise the kid of the person that abused them or assaulted them or whatever. But let's just let's let's leave it. Let's stop it right there. Let's just say that that's where 100 percent of all abortions come from. Women that are sexually assaulted. And you're pro pro life. How would you feel if your sister or a woman that you're close to in life got sexually assaulted and they're pregnant and they're saying i'm not keeping this kid this dude assaulted me i'm not gonna wake up every morning looking at a kid coming from a rape case right. how would you feel you gonna tell your mom or your sister or your your niece cousin auntie relative that oh they can't have this abortion even though this dude raped them yeah that they don't have that right to to move on from that from that trauma yeah so i don't get personally why people are so like pro-life because if you was pro life, then you would. If you if you was really pro life, then we would stop. We would we would as men we would police men every time we see them do something that's 
predatory when it comes to women, when it comes to kids. <sighs> we wouldn't let none of that shit happen. We would protect women. No, it, it's right. not even, there's no buts, there's none of that. It's like, well, here, wait, wait. Here's if a, here. if you're really pro life, all, all, everything, you would be pro life for everything. You'd be right. pro Black Lives Matter, you'd be pro women, pro kids, you'd be pro everything, not just fucking for a, for, when it comes to abortion. Right. But here, here's, the, here's the thing with pro life people. It's like, you can be pro life, but just don't try to make that a law. Like, don't try to use your. Yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with being. Look, I think, I think people who are watching this, like, don't get me. Like, I don't try to misunderstand. There is nothing wrong with being a pro life person. There's nothing wrong. There's and one I, thing wrong with it. You can mind your damn business. That, that, that's what that that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay. That's, that's what I'm getting to. <laughs> See, there's like, one thing if, wrong with it. If you mind your own business, if you just mind your business and just be the pro life person that you are, I can uh, I can say we probably as well as pro life. No, we, I, won't. I mean yeah, I'm pro life, but yeah, not in the sense of abortion. Mind. I'm pro life in the sense of everything else. I can give yeah, a fuck yeah. about abortion. Yeah, I can, That's fine. That's that's the same thing. It's just like we are pro life. So, we might as well as pro life too. It's just we mind our own business, and we know that there are circumstances out there, and people are different in every way, and you just can't take options away from people. You know? Yeah. Like, and, and here's my thing: even if I would, even if I would say that I was pro life and was against abortion, who am I to tell somebody? What if it, it, it could be? It could be a chick that'd be like, I had a one night stand, got pregnant. I, they could have the money to. They could be financially straight. There could be no problems in their life. They could be like, you know what? I just don't want a kid. Right. I'm gonna get an abortion. Who the fuck am I? Yeah, to tell, tell you what? To, I don't know you. I don't know nothing with your life. Who am I to tell you what what to do with your life if you're an adult and you do everything responsibly? Right. You are. Besides, obviously, you got pregnant, but still, that's not the point. Who am I to tell you yeah, what? That's, that's not the point. Even even if that was irresponsible, it's not my job to tell you that that's irresponsible. Right. Because, you, especially me, I have a kid myself, so should, it wouldn't be my job. Like to the tell thing you is, that. I think as people, we should never live our life trying to dictate in another person's life. Like you should try only, to tell Europeans that and white people. The, yeah, the only thing we are obligated to do is handle our business and handle our life. You can be whatever the fuck you want to be, but when it comes to the law, don't try to implement laws that that like will in um will uh affect other people like like that's it. yeah and, and and with this law the reason we, uh, yeah go ahead the reason laws like this kind of hurt because i know you hate when i take it to race <laughs> i know you hate it but just think just hear me out just hear me out so we we brought up earlier how like white people if if since white people really make up like the upper class for the most part we brought up how like if a white person is affected by this. They might have the funds or the money to right. leave the state or do other things to, to you know, like prevent to get the abortion to prevent it. When it, uh, fuck, what was I gonna say? It, it, the reason this this affects minorities is because you have to think about it. Um, like white people, they get or the 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 majority, the upper class, they get way more. They have way more options. For example, like healthcare. Healthcare, all that stuff. Personal doctors. I'll, and I'll and I'll take it all live, of that. Li- live in a great neighborhood with no gangs, violence. All um, of that stuff. Be- high higher education, um, access to like more free shit, like even condoms or uh, all of that. Um, let me, medicines or whatever. Let me use an example for you. So I was in uh, like West LA, Beverly Hills, doing Uber the other day, and I seen like a big like doctor's office, but it was specifically a suicide center. I've never seen one of those. No, they don't exist in Londo. They don't exist in, in the ghetto. In- in- like white people have these type, these type of, you know, options when they, when they're going through stuff that minorities we don't get. It's you go back to Londo. It's like one Planned Parenthood over there, the one right there by the Civic Center, and that's, that's like for the. As a motherfucker. But that's just like damn near for Hawthorne, Inglewood, Londo, it's Torrance. For three cities. Yeah, it's like for three, four cities. And every time you go there, is a long motherfucking it's, line. You gotta wait four thousand hours to get right. an appointment. Like, whereas if you go somewhere in Beverly Hills, Hollywood, Santa Monica, Brentwood, all these areas, you see multiple Planned Parenthoods, multiple mental health centers. No, no, no. Even fuck, fuck that. If if you got money, you don't even need to go. You you don't. You have a prime primary doctor. Yeah, you got an OBGYN or whatever it is for women. So you're yeah, not you even have, going you, to Planned Parenthood. You, you just gotta go to your doctor. Like you don't even need. Yeah, so Planned Parenthood is for people who don't have health care. That 
need it. Exactly. And it makes it harder for those people when they put laws like this because these white people with the health care can still go to their doctors and they might be able to find and, a loophole. And, 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 Other here's, people and here's the thing about health care. It's fucking expensive. Even it for is. people, even if, even if you got money, let's say you, you got, let's say you make good money, right? But your comp, you make good money, right? But if your company doesn't provide you like health care at all, whatever, or not good health care, you gotta pay like three hundred, four, five. Like my parents was paying seven hundred dollar, uh, seven hundred dollar a month. Oh, for health care. Health care. Oh, I'm not getting health care then. Family, seven hundred dollars a month. Damn, I won't have health care. Bro, I'm paying you seven hundred dollars. You can't a month. expect everybody to have access to health care. That it's wild. Like. Don't blame other people. Maybe blame the fact that it, healthcare is so fucking expensive. Blame the government. Yeah, blame the fucking government. Don't blame other people that need free resources like Planned Parenthood for for the fact that fucking healthcare is so expensive. Like it's ridiculous. So like you can't blame people for for not having services and are only obligated to free services out there. Like you can't. Like. And also, like, I forgot what I was going to say. But I get so frustrated just because, like, I'm at a good place where I have health care. But for a little bit, I don't have health care. And it was fucking expensive to get health care. And I worked my way, I worked my ass off to trying to find a job to get me health care. And I can understand where people don't have health care and are, are, are going through with issues and, and need places like Planned Parenthood or Urgent Care or um, Medicare, Medicare, whatever the case might be, like, you know, like, I don't know. See, the as thing, long as you're not lazy, sitting on your bum ass, doing nothing and not working, like, the thing, it's fine. Like, the thing that makes work, me so mad about this law that Texas passed on is that private citizens can, that it's not like a law that the doctors and the doctor's offices have to enforce. Like, pretty much if, if you and your girl walked into somewhere in Texas and tried to get an abortion, and I think it could just be like a random, someone there was knowing that you get an abortion, they could report you guys. Mind your business. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Somebody's gonna get somebody gonna get hurt. A snitch bounty. Somebody gonna get hurt. Somebody gonna get hurt. Somebody gonna get hurt.